Hi everyone, for our project based learning art task this week we are going to be designing a food truck for our school fate and we are going to be drawing the food truck using the isometric drawing method which I'm going to show you how to do. Now uh, we're going to draw the truck in a three dimensional view. So we're going to be drawing it looking at, at the front and we're going to be seeing it from the side and we're also going to be seeing the top of the truck. So we're looking at three different views of the truck and it will look as though we're looking down on the truck. So you can actually see the top of the truck. And all of our horizontal lines, which I'll explain further in a minute, are going to be on a 30 degree angle. Now most of you will have done isometric drawing before in maths with simple shapes. So for some of you this might be the first time you've done it, but for others you might have done it before. We are going to start with a very simple shape to begin with, which will be a rectangle, and then we're going to change it into the shape of a truck. So we're going to start with a grey lead and a ruler, and then when we've got our basic shape, you can then get the marker and I have actually just drawn over the lines freehand and changed it into the shape of the truck freehand so that it has that nice hand drawn quality to it and it doesn't look too straight and angular. So to do this you will need a ruler, you will need a pencil, you will also need a rubber and to finish it I used a sharpie. You could also just use a texter or a dark pencil, whatever you've got to make some nice dark outlines. So to start with, I have taped my paper to the table just to stop it from shifting around. And I've also drawn this on A3 paper, which gives me a bit more room to move. If you only have A4 paper, that's fine, but your measurements will have to be a little bit smaller. Uh, if you don't have any A3 paper, I have some in the art room on the bench. I have a big pile of it. You can go in and grab some next time you're going past school. Okay, so we're going to be drawing a isometric rectangle. And we are pretty much drawing the shape of a tissue box. And we're going to be drawing it in a way that you can see three different sides, the top, the side, and the front. The first line that we're going to be starting from is this line here. And that is the edge of the track here. So to do that, and my I will tell you what my measurements are. It doesn't matter if your measurements are slightly different. But I started with a line that was 12 centimetres. Now it's really important with isometric drawing that all vertical lines are perfectly straight, perfectly up and down. If you're not sure how to make sure that your ruler is perfectly straight, you can line it up with the edge of your page, which we know is perfectly straight, and then you can slide it across to help you get it right with your eye. Once you have got your first vertical line in, you can then start ruling to the side. So it's like you're, you're drawing a rectangle on a 30 degree angle. And it might be wise for you just to have a look at what roughly 30 degrees looks like and have that drawn on your page just to remind you. Okay, so I'm starting from the bottom of this line going left and my measurements are that it is 25 and a half centimetres on a 30 degree angle. Now all horizontal lines are the lines that need to be drawn on a 30 degree angle. So vertical is perfectly straight, horizontal lines are on a 30 degree angle. And that angle might be going left and it might be going right. Okay, 
If you find it tricky to get the angle correct again, you can line up your ruler and slide it across to the top angle. So from this vertical line, we're going left. Now, these two lines should finish and it should be the correct vertical measurement that should match the same as over here. If you're not sure, you can put your ruler here and check that it's 12 and 12. Perfectly straight. So you can see that, that at the moment that is a flat rectangle. So now we need to draw the side. So we're going in our angle again, 30 degree angle, but we're going to the right. Now the depth that I've got of the shape here is going to be nine centimeters. So that has to be the same down the bottom as well. And then you can match that up with your vertical line. And now we have a front, we have a side, we just have to draw the top. So we're only drawing two lines in here, but they're probably the hardest lines to draw because if they're not accurate, the whole thing looks out of whack. So this was roughly 20.5 centimeters. I think that's what I said. And then I'm gonna slide it up here so I've got the right angle again. And now to match this, this line here, we're mirroring that up the top here. So you can put your ruler there, slide it across. And uh, they meet. Okay, so we have an isometric rectangle. We can see the front, the side, and the top. In order to turn this into some kind of truck, we're going to split the rectangle. We're gonna slice it in half. Now to do that, you don't need to worry about numbers now. You just need to make sure that your ruler is perfectly straight. The front of the truck is much smaller than the body of the truck, so think about that when you're going to split it. It's not exactly in half. This, I'm making sure I'm ruling my ruler is straight and I have two lines here. And then I have to connect those two lines going across on a 30 degree angle. So I line up my ruler. And then I do the same going across. Now, in order to create the illusion of those two shapes not being connected, we need to rub out those little lines. And then you're going to draw a vertical line from that corner. Going straight down. Like that. And then this little corner here is going to go back on a 30 degree angle. So now it looks like you've got this cube here and this rectangle here and there is a gap in between. Once you've got that shape, you can just have a play around with drawing in the um, engine part of the truck and then playing around with the, the kitchen part of the truck. To do that, you just need to make sure that your lines are going to match with the angles that we've been drawing. So vertical lines again have to be straight. You might like to add some little curves to them coming down. That's like the bonnet of the truck. Curve it. Going across. 
Draw lightly so that you can rub out these lines later that you're not going to need. They're a bit like your structural lines and we don't need those anymore because they're not part of the drawing. So make sure you're drawing lightly. I have been drawing a bit harder so that you can see it in the video. So you can see from my finished one here some ideas about what you might do for the front of the track. I'm just doing this super quick. Might put a bumper bar in, some headlights, great wheel, a wheel here. Just the one thing that I wanted to show you before you started doing the creative side of things is if you wanted to create a little window with a counter in it, that's really simple and easy to do. To do that, you match your 30 degree line, you can line it up with the top of the track. And we're just going to draw a mini rectangle, vertical line, in the middle of the body of the track. So there's our window, but that looks really flat right now. It looks like it's just a sign stuck on the front of the window. We want to look like it's a hole going in. To do that, you have to draw your 30 degree angle that you've drawn here and here and here, but it's coming in from that corner of the rectangle there on the left hand side. Then you match your 30 degree angle from the bottom of the, the rectangle that you've just drawn. And then this line going up from that point is straight. And there it looks like there's a little ledge that you can go into the truck. Okay, so once you've got your basic um, uh, angles and the isometric drawing and the shape developed, then you can get the pencils out and the marker and outline it and have fun with it. I really look forward to seeing these finished. Um, it's a bit of a challenging task for you, but I really think that most of you will be able to, to do this. Good luck.